everyone that you have very big shoes to fill. And we are a little nervous as a congregation, wondering who is going to be the next Don. So what I thought might put your minds at ease today would be to do a little interview with some potential candidates. So I've lined up for you today four candidates and you're gonna get to hear their answers and then, you know, express an opinion. Okay, so let's see, our first one today, um, this is our classical musical expert. Her name is Maria Ophelia Castronata. Thank you, Maria, for coming today. Lovely. Our next candidate is straight from Backwoods, New York. Her name is uh, Betty Lou Bellbuckle. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, our third person today, we have a rock star in the house. His name is Elvis Medley. Oh. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay. And last if not, but not least, we have somebody fresh from Norway. I believe he is Don's second cousin's wife's mother's son. Um, and his name is Hans Nielsen Reinertsen. great variety up here so let's give them some questions just to get a feel for what they might do okay so the first one is what profession do you currently have Maria can you tell us well I'm a professor at Juilliard presently and doing a residency at the Metropolitan Opera Company whoa okay well Betty Lou what's your profession well I, I'm not sure what you mean by the word profession. Uh, well, that sounds like one of those fancy made-up words. But currently, I work in the hog house, and I'm preparing up a little pig for barbecue that you might be eating later. Anywho, um, I, I also lead a mighty fine porch band. Oh, great. Great. Very excited about that. Uh, and Elvis, what would your profession currently be? Yeah, well, I'm not filling up the stadiums quite like I used to, but I got a few gigs going. I've still got the old magic. <laughs> I heard you were playing at the PI last night. Yeah? yeah? Good. Yeah. You were playing at the PI? And, and lastly, Hans, uh, what is your profession currently? Yeah, I'm the Narbe. Okay, good, good. Uh, so the next question would be, can you play the organ? Maria, can you play the organ? Oh, how quaint. No, 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 no. We're gonna just rip that right out and install a grand piano. Oh, always. And also, possibly a string quartet to just to add some little richness to the music. Yeah, yeah, an organ, huh? of course not. Oh, well, uh, Betty Lou, can you play the organ? Well, is that one of them fancy things that kind of look like a piano, the wood that you put your foot down on? No, I don't reckon I can play that. <laughs> okay. Um, Elvis, can you play the organ? Hey, man, organs are not cool. Organists don't get the chicks. I mean, look at Don. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, he, now, he's got Joan, but, but Joan has got a big heart. She's got a big, 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 big heart. But, uh, you know, organists, they, uh, the ladies run from those guys. You need an electric guitar. That's what gets the chicks. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, well, Hans, do you play the organ? Yeah, I'm the Okay. Okay. Um, so, moving right along. Um, so, what kind of training do you have, Maria? What training do you have? Well, I'm a trained opera singer. Yeah. I have sung in Vienna, Covent Gardens, and of course, Carnegie Hall. I also play the piano, harp, cello, and, um, oh, and viola, yes. Oh, I'm quite what? proficient in viola. 
Oh, wonderful. And, and Betty Lou, what do you play? Well, well, well I, I learned the triangle in, in the barn, you know? You want to hear what it sounds like? Uh, ting! <laughs> and, and I also play a pretty mean washboard, you know? Um, well, that's one of those things that we play in the barns in upstate New York, you know? Well, and I'm self-taught, too, you know? Thank you. Elvis, uh, what is your background? Well, I went to the school of hard knocks. Heartbreak, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, you know what I mean? My daddy stole me my first guitar from Ramblin' Rob, but he was uh, so drunk he thought that I had bought it off of him. And uh, I practiced real hard till I was real good. And at least that's what all the pretty girls told me, if you know what I'm saying. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> well, let's move on to Hans. Uh, Hans, uh, what kind of training do you have? Yeah, up the door, man. <laughs> kind of pretty. Um, okay, so let's just think about choirs here. What kind of choir do you see yourself leading? Well, of course, only professionals, naturally. I mean, we'll have several months of a rigorous audition process. Okay. And they all have to have a PhD in, in voice. Okay. Um, you know, once we, once we get the choir together, we're going to practice at least 40 hours a week before each performance. <laughs> I, I suspect, yes. You know, I, I, I even had Mr. Proverati, I, I fired him because he did not have a very good warm-up. So, only the most consummate professionals. Okay, great. Um, so, Betty Lou, choir, what kind of choir would you lead? Well, choir? I, I don't really know nothing about no choir, but, but I got 17 brothers and sisters who I could call on in a pinch, and, um, well, they ain't real good at singing, but they real loud when they want to be. Great. Uh, Elvis, you're by your choir? I was thinking more like a backup singers, you know, shiny dresses, big hair, something nice for the fellas to look at, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Hans, what kind of choir would you lead? Yeah, I'm um, for that, man. <laughs> okay, so our last question here. Can you give us some idea of what kind of, uh, what would you be your favorite hymn? Well, I, I think we'd be, begin with something very light, like um, Johann Sebastian Bach's um, St. Matthew's Passion, just to get us started. Uh, something easy. Uh -huh. Start off. Yes, great. And, and, and Betty Lou? Well, I wandered so aimless, live with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Hans! Hans! Do you have a favorite hymn, Hans? No, I forgot it. <laughs> Okay, to Elvis, what would be your favorite hymn? Well, it goes something like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jesus is the rock and he rolls my blues away. Bop, shua, bop, bop, shua. Jesus is the rock and he rolls my blues away. Bop, shua, bop, bop, shua. Jesus is the rock and he rolls my blues away. Bop, 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 bop. I'm all shook up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Well, this sounds pretty great. You know what? You've all given us a real, really good taste of what you would bring to the table. Let's have a little vote now. So we're going to vote here by a little clapping. Number one, number two, number three, number four. So let's hear it for number one. Well, that's very polite of you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, number two, Betty Lou. Really interesting crowd. Uh, number three, Elvis. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. And what about number four? Hi. You know, I'm not really seeing a unanimous decision here, although definitely we're, ne we're leaning Norwegian. So, uh, Don, could you come up here a minute? We need your help a minute. Don, could you just come up here? <laughs> the lovely Don Reinison making his way up to the front. Come here, come here. 
All right, so Don, I hate to tell you this, but you've got FOMO YEARS! FOMO YEARS! FOMO YEARS! FOMO YEARS! FOMO YEARS! Thank you, everybody! Yeah. 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 Yeah.